what's up everyone? Brian with you from the Game Company. We are playing some more Terra Invicta. We are continuing with our Resistance campaign and, well, I think the battle for Earth has officially begun. So we won the space battle. Well, okay, we kind of draw it a couple episodes ago. But the aliens have now started landing a, uh, well, landing some ships and I'm pretty sure they have more incoming here. What fleet was it that actually had the drop classes? Uh... Either way, I don't think I can stop them right now because I'm still popping out a couple more ships. So I think we're kind of screwed. Yeah, it's these guys. So Salt Carry is Salt Carry. Yeah, I think they had four before and we have the one that we're trying to take out right now. So what I ended up doing uh, right before this episode is I ended up going through and finding our armies that aren't on the coast, our armies that have navies that aren't on the coast and I'm moving them to the coast. And I think what we're going to end up doing is A, we're going to start bombarding them from space and then we're going to start hitting them. We're going to declare war on the aliens. I think um, the thing is I do have freedom of the seas because we have a stronger Navy than the aliens so the one thing that this is gonna give us is the aliens are gonna actually be landlocked so wherever they land they're gonna be kind of stuck so we could take all of our um, basically just get like 10 freaking like armies together something like that um, so we could actually fight the aliens we could kill the aliens and then slowly like take back Africa and then just like start taking the territories over one at a time that probably is gonna be our best bet I think love to have Russia right now, but you know, it's okay. It's okay. Someone was talking about unifying with Russia, but I don't have the tech for that. Um, yeah, there's no way I can actually unify with Russia because I don't have the tech for that. Number one, number two, even before when I had the, uh, the control point for Russia, the executive control point, I didn't have the other ones. And so at that point I could then merge the EU into Russia, but no, I would want to merge Russia into the EU. So that's not going to probably end up happening here for a while. Um, so we have one can, uh, Canadian army that needs to move. And I think there is one EU army that needs to move. I can't do any bombarding right now for some reason my fleet doesn't want to move the other thing is we could drop kamali back on the ground i don't think that's worth it though because i don't think even with her 25 command she's going to be able to do anything uh be able to actually like kill these aliens because remember we tried it before with her and she was at 25 and we were able to do like basically jack so yeah it's gonna be interesting i i don't know if we're gonna be able to survive this them coming with a bunch of alien uh drop ships was yeah yeah i i think i think eh, i don't want to say it but i'm like part of me is like we might end up losing the game here but i i know how we can actually win it next time i i i feel like one of the things that we probably screwed up is we didn't invest enough into science early on with our counselors number one um so our science is kind of like mediocre right now it could be a lot lot better but then the other thing that really screwed me was building a bunch of early battleships that did basically jack all like in the end of the game in the end of the day like i still even have a couple of them but they don't do anything they can't do anything they're basically completely worthless so i should have instead used those control points to get a bunch of science and a bunch of space stations which you know oh well i think our income probably fine but yeah um can i bombard now please I want to hit, we're going to focus on one at a time right now. So Kabul, uh, probably not. Uh, the other aliens might come and try stopping me, but we'll see. Now, I think what happens here, I'm not 100%, but I think what happens is the more damage I do to them, I'm not going to necessarily kill them, but when they pop out, they're going to be uh, 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 weaker. At least I think that's what's going to end up happening. So we'll go ahead. Oh, 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 I didn't realize we were we were in uh phasing here so okay i need you to go ahead and transfer then to our troop transport Great you're gonna go take over the these uh moon bases because there's literally nothing stopping us and we just need to go ahead and pop that out i think um i wonder if surveilling you can't surveil but i'm wondering if surveilling actually makes a difference here how are we looking by the way everything's kind of going down how are priorities part of me wants to just like Ooh, we're about to actually pop out another army. We need more navies. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Peaceful, that's what we want. I don't really want to mess with it. I need the, I love how our military, oh, it's because the unrest is super high. Why is the unrest super high? Interesting. Hey, Tom, I'm going to you probably take care. Oh, there's aliens out here. Wait, no, these are just the landings. Yeah, no, okay, we're good. Um, No, I'm going to need you to lower the unrest here in the EU. Not sure what's going on, but someone's having Oops, some fun. And I don't think I like that. Um, 
Do we have anyone else raising opinion? We have Wait, Diana. She's initial. raising opinion, so that's probably fine. Standing she by. can't lower. Do we need defense? We are defended already. Hmm. Oh, we need you to declare war. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, that's right. Heading we need her to actually off. declare war against the aliens here. So, uh, I think that's fine. Tom's lowering. I'm here. You're contributing, which we need. Ready Kexton's contributing, which we need. We don't actually have anyone contributing right now to America. But that's probably okay. I mean, popping out more armies in America would be really nice. The other option is if we could just, like, kick them out of this point. Which we might have enough power to be able to do that. Just Static hypothetically bot. here. If I wanted to purge... Uh, yeah, 0%, 2%. That's based on... Her espionage. Which she has the best espionage. So then, what about Crackdown? Your orders? Who has a Crackdown? Standing by. Dang it, stop clicking on Kamali. For orders. Ready. Does no one have Crackdown? Oh, there it is. I was like, uh, someone sure. has to have Crackdown, man. Uh, Afghanistan executive, no. Just kind of hover over here real quickly. Uh, this is based on... Yeah, 0%. 1%. So we're more likely to purge. He doesn't really have much investigation. Yeah, no, since we don't have our good people. Okay, well, confirm. We also have a couple more ships popping out here any second, which is going to be great. Alien fleet launches frags into the grade station. Um, we fixed that one, right? You are 293. You're headed to Alexander the Great Station, which remind me... I don't actually remember where that one is. Adventure time. Can I get these in alphabetical order? That would actually be kind of nice. Just give me station. Alexander the Great Station. This is... Oh, yeah. This is the one that's far away. Um, Do we just have one laser thing here? Research campus. Is this our backup? Oh, yeah. This is our backup runaway one. Which, actually, this is the one that already won a fight. How much power do we have here? Eight. Well, you know what? Might as well go ahead and pop on another layer defense array. So, I don't know if it'll finish by the time he gets there, but I don't think the one ship has enough power to actually kill it, as we saw last time. So, at least that's the hope here. UFO lands on Earth. Frick. Oh, my God. Okay, where are these guys? Oh, they're awful. Also in Africa. So, are they interconnected? Okay, so what's nice is I think whatever armies here actually can't get reinforced. So, that's good. Unfortunately, we're going to be fighting six aliens here. Yeah. Can't really stop it. Ah, hab module complete. Yep, we're building a bunch of hab modules. We're getting some builds going. Um, where's my fleet? You're still currently bombarding. Do you like end at at some point? October 30th? Okay. 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 So, now that you're bombarding, can I see like any damage here? Doesn't look like it. Well, so the other thing is I would love to actually be able to put my armies in the ocean and like move them over here, but I can't until I actually declare the war. So I'm going to need uh, Eloise for you to be able to um, actually the one in Xi'an, I don't think is on the coast. Uh, Nope, you're not. This is the Xi'an region. Yeah. OK, I need you go coast. Thank you. But yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a need to be able to declare war here pretty quickly so I can get my armies moving before they, oh my God, Tokyo. Oh God. <laughs> well, at least I got the Chinese army here and they're going to be able to hit it pretty quickly here. If I can get a war going. Ship launched. Nice. 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 Okay. So two ships here can go ahead and merge up. And then I need you guys to go transfer to our home fleet. And that then should make our home fleet strong enough that I don't think they have anything above like the what 2.5k or whatever that uh, other fleet was. So I don't think they'll be able to mess with my bombarding. Also, hopefully more ships equals better bombarding. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Do they have any drop ships left? Because that's the other question is maybe we try taking in their drop ships. It's the ones that are labeled assault carrier. They still have one. Rallying with UNN home fleet. Oh, that's me. <laughs> uh, October 25th, land army. Um, yeah, no, I'm screwed. 
So, Kampala. Uh, isn't that... Is that the Indian one? Mumbai. Kampala, is that over here? We'll have to wait and see. I hope that's not in Africa. I'm worried it might be in Africa. Okay, so Romeo42 has joined. You're going to go ahead and... I don't know if I can actually merge you right now because they're bombarding. I can. Merge with Romeo43. So now we have a 2k fleet. They're currently still bombarding. Hopefully you're doing a lot more damage. I love how close that is to my home. Oh, I need to start building more ships, Brian. <laughs> yeah, don't... You just build ships. That's all you need to do at this point. Brian is build all the ships until you run out of money. So we want... No, not Naru. Not Naru. We want Ripley. Give me the battleship. Give me the battleship. We could pop a ship out here in Alexander the Great, but eh. I think it'll be okay. You're done in one day. It's going to take a while, though. Yeah, might take a while for you to get back, but that's okay. Oh, I actually don't want to be looking there. I wonder if we could actually see them bombard. As they're floating around. I think we can actually see them shooting. No. The weird thing is... They're in a weird orbit where they're not actually uh, synchronized with... They should be in synchronization orbit. Instead, they're just going around. So how are they actually even bombarding? I don't think technically they have to be in the right orbit. Like, hopefully not. Because that would kind of suck. But yeah. Yeah, that's kind of hilarious, though. Order is means like once every day they get to potentially shoot a couple bombs. <laughs> I wonder also, too, do they run out of ammo? That's a very good question. What are they using to bombard? I don't know. Uh, Ripley Class 2 upgrade. What weapons do you have that bombard, sir? You can see it's the first time I click this. I'm just wondering if they're going to run out of um, missiles. Not through atmosphere. Not through atmosphere. No. No. <laughs> so the light railgun battery. Crap. Build costs, reload costs. It does have a magazine. So theoretically, we could build some better bombard ships too. Maybe we want that. Mm, yeah. Just like a straight up bombard ship. Okay. Hypothetically. If, you know, let's just get rid of you. And we want whole weapons. Actually, can any of the nose weapons bombard? No, no. Not through atmosphere. Yes. So we throw you, because you can bombard. And then, not through atmosphere, not through atmosphere. I love that they added the mark is obsolete. It's great. Although it doesn't actually disappear, which is weird, but whatever. So the light rail gun batteries, Ken, which we knew. Power is kind of crap. Do these also... They also have gardening. Gar gardening? <laughs> they also have guardian defense as well. I'm debating whether or not I want this. Hmm. I would change the ship design. Yeah, probably give you that. We don't have any better engines, although we're about to finish some better engines here in a minute. I think everything else stays the same. I, I wonder how much extra damage this does. We probably do want this. Okay, give me one second. Okay, sorry. I had to figure out what I wanted to name the ship. I think we're going to go with Connor Class 1, so Sarah Connor. We could call it the Sarah Connor Class, but eh, we'll just do Connor Class 1. The reason I'm going for that is, like, Sarah Connor, specifically after, like, the first movie, like, especially in the later ones, although I didn't remember saw the most recent one, but she always seemed to be, like, her whole goal was just to, like, destroy the, the, the robots, but, you know, the invaders. So I kind of feel like the Connor Class might actually work the best. So let's go ahead and save this. Design. Uh, yeah, yeah, 17.6, yeah. I think is about the same. Is that the same as Ripley? 16.7, it's actually a little better. It's a little lighter. So, um, ship construction, we want to change. I think we lost like one day, which is like fine. Um, but I'm gonna go counterclass there. 
Actually, I wonder if I could give it something different. No, I didn't lose anything. So, okay. Maybe I lost a couple hours, but that's fine. So, okay. Ironically, it's the same ship, so theoretically I should be able to, like, swap them. Although, I don't think I can upgrade them. Actually, nah, there's no way, right? Ooh, I have a new space station. Um, 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 can I upgrade? No. No. Interesting that I can only upgrade these. Since they're docked. Miyoko Station, Cutlass Escort. Miyoko Station. What do I have at Miyoko? I don't think I have anything at Miyoko Station. Huh. Weird. Whatever. Doesn't matter. So, Scipio Station. Do I want another Bombard? Mmm. I mean, so the thing is, Connor class won't be bad as, like, a defender. What maybe I should have done with is maybe make it a little uh, tankier. But we'll be able to use it as, like, point defense, if nothing else. So, all right. I'm going to really need a side lunar orbit. You're going to need to come join the fleet. Um, but I'm really, 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 Actually, hold up. Don't do that. Cancel that. Cancel that. Uh, I want you to transfer instead to uh, our station because I want to refill you. Scipio station. Yeah, because it's using a lot of Delta V to get to Earth. So I want him to refill. 25th of October. Really going to take him less than a day? Oh, it's going to take him one day. Not bad. Not bad. We can get to the moon in one day now. Kampala region. All right. Where's Kampala? Africa. Frick. So they're gonna have quite a few over here then. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Romeo 44 completes transfer. I need you to go ahead and resupply. 0.3 days. Thank you. And then you can join the bombard fun. And it's gonna complete. be a decent fleet here. All right, declare war. Alien administration. Let's do it. Confirm. Uh, United States to accept. Yes. China. Yes. Canada. Yes. All right. Let's do this, baby. So the European Union under control of the resistance declared war on the alien administration. So we got Pakistan, Iran, Australia, Nigeria, Paraguay. Ah, oh, that means they have Pakistan, which means they have nukes. Great. It is also involved in the conflict. Its armies will annex territories directly into the alien administration. Its enemies immediately liberate. Capturing the capital of the alien administration will not cause a regime change, but may trigger spontaneous declarations of independence. Oh, okay. So, and Pakistan's going to be kind of, uh, it's Iran. Pakistan's by India. I thought Pakistan was like right here. This is Pakistan. Interesting, but the servants are in charge. Huh. Well, I think we might send the Chinese army over there then. Because these guys aren't particularly great. Yeah, they're only at 3.8. Yeah, no, I think we're okay. I'm I'm hoping these Chinese armies, because remember, our Chinese armies aren't great. They're only at 4.3. Uh, hopefully, they're going to be enough to do some damage here in Tokyo. <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking, so if you ever watch Fast and Furious Tokyo, there is, like, the worst, most hilarious, like, theme song for it. Um, I don't even remember how it goes. I just remember there's, like, a Japanese girl who's going, Tokyo! It's just, it's, like, the dumbest freaking hilarious thing ever. So, okay, you guys are launching over there. EU. Um, we're going to send all of you over here. Uh, and hopefully we can stop these guys from actually popping out. Do we have... No, we don't have one there. We have one here. Trying to find the armies that actually have navies attached, which kind of sucks, by the way. Um, you have one. You're way the heck over there, though. That's fine. It's going to take you a minute, but whatever. We'll need reinforcements, surely. Uh, you can come over here. Boom. Uh, you don't have one. You guys aren't merged. Uh, we sent the only one that had it. We checked both of you. You only have the one army. You're already going. You only have the one army. So I think that's everyone here that I can see. Probably double check here in a little bit. Um, both of these armies then, you guys can also go join. And yeah, we don't have any other navies here. Um, they're actually about to pop on another American army. Good. Navy. Mm, not so much. Which, 
I wonder what happens if you lose the army with the navy, if the navy attaches itself somewhere else. So, um, are these guys, yeah, so they're blockaded. And then, I mean, well, clearly we're moving through. So even China has, yeah, freedom of the seas. Is that 21.5 the same? No, it's not the same. Dude, China has a nice navy. 4.6, but yeah, freedom of seas, 6.2 freedom of seas. So, okay, the blockading is working. Good, 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 good. So, is there anything else for us to do? I don't think so. I think we're good to go. So let's unpause. Uh, Russia wants us to, no, no, no. How strong is their, eh, 4.3, they're not bad. Yeah, they're not horrible. Not horrible, but it's okay. Army completes deployment. Oh, that's Rome. Okay. I was like, dang, dude. Moved quick through the sea. Uh, yeah, okay. So I need you then to get over here to Rabat, please. And then there was no other navy here, right? Nope. Okay. Good. Space defense online in London. Sure. Probably don't mind that right now. Uh, the aliens do have some uh, space defenses. We do got to be careful of that. Uh, ooh, army in Beijing. So you can go launch towards Tokyo. Um... I'm gonna have to go listen to that song after this episode, man. <laughs> uh, da -da -da -da, Tokyo, something like that. I just, I don't remember. Kind of just want to go speed four for the time being, just because I'm a little nervous. You know, we didn't even look to see how strong it was to attack, but yeah, probably never gonna happen. Hmm, interesting. I don't know if we want that or not. Six hundred and five days. I'm not saying no. I don't think it's that amazing. And we're about to take over a couple bases, so hopefully, I mean, it's not like our income's bad. We could use some more nukes, um, nuclear, whatever, whatever it's called, nuclear power, fission, right? Fission, fizzles, 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 fizzles. All right. So assault enemy space asset. Asset. Yes. Let's start with the servant base. 95% chance. I mean, I'll go 98, okay? I don't think I need to, but might as well. Then you are over here. You help declare war. We're actually doing great right now. We do have eight nukes. We may target any region belonging to our war enemies. Or our own regions with enemies present. So if I want to go like here. We may target any region. Launching our weapons will do terrible and lasting damage to target region. Destroy any enemy armies. Oh. Okay. So we do have a oh crap we're going to lose button. <laughs> uh, if we're about to lose. If we need to kill off the aliens. So um, I do Ready see alien crap that we need to go get rid of so um yeah yeah no we did try it yeah zero percent okay go destroy the alien life forms at your service popularity is looking good popularity is okay popularity is okay if anything increasing our popularity here in america is going to make it more likely for us to be able to <clears throat> um we could also increase unrest and try grabbing Russia real quick, but I don't think that's going to be worth it. Nah, they don't really have anyone nearby. Anyone else? What about like Australia? What are you looking like? They actually have a good army. They are robotic age. Who owns Russia or servants? And they have a little bit of issues. We're going to probably want Kamali back before we flip it, but. Okay. Change of plans. Where Eloise. Uh, I want you to public campaign in Australia. Because I think I want their army. I'm trying to remember you where um, Kambara is. It's down here, isn't it? I think it's on the south side. Anyone else with a strong army? I mean, India at some point, maybe. Mexico? Brazil? Mexico doesn't have anything. Brazil doesn't have anything. There's actually no armies in South America right now, which... Cool. 
I think, honestly, we have control of probably 80% of the armies. Uh, like, besides Russia. Offering assistance. And then, oh, you know, Israel actually would also be good. I wish I could get him to join me, but he just doesn't like us. Which, you know, probably, I don't know. Is that us? Yeah, we're actually pretty popular here. Huh. And they're in a guerrilla warfare. Okay, I think I think we go for that this next turn then. I think I think uh, even Tom can be able to do it. You know, Kexton probably also should be the one to do it. So I am way stronger than you. Come at me, bro. Nah, he didn't want to fight. I'm shocked. Yeah, I'm shocked. Come on, I, that that was gonna talk crap, but honestly, I couldn't think of anything. Uh, alien fleet. Is this a drop ship? No. So I'm just gonna keep bombarding then for the time being we should be able to get more fleets here than him we uh, what i probably need to do after this episode is double check and see what other aliens are coming to earth at this point and make sure that they're not bringing another death fleet my way um Unfortunately, it takes forever to actually click through this stuff, which is why I don't necessarily want to do that uh, right now. Problem is, it's going to be a little bit before I can actually look. In low Earth orbit, in low Earth orbit, rallying. Yeah, so these, I think the ones that are showing up are just rallying with the other fleet that's there. Maybe I should try taking out that fleet now. But bombard, man. I, I'm more worried about the ground right now than anything. So... I think. Might actually not be a great idea here. Victor 23 is at 849. Because once again, I can't catch them. So even if I do go and engage them, it's not like I'm going to chase them away. So, hmm. Yeah, not entirely well, sure how we do that then. Public support stands 8%. Cool. That was in it's Australia, right? Yeah, that had to be in Australia. Uh, low Mercury orbit. Interesting. What are you doing in Mercury orbit? Uh, bombarding and Venture Time Base. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, is Venture Time Base Tier 2 or 1? No, I want... Eh. Venture Time Base. That's that's him. That's not me. Where's Adventure Time Base? You're going to make me actually click through here, aren't you? Uh, I need... Yo, Adventure Time Base. We have... A farm. We have a settlement mining complex. We only have one laser defense array. And then we have a construction module. We could swap out one of these for another layer defense array. I think I will. I don't think we need, we can build, I think, another base on Mar or on Mercury as well, too. I think there's more options. Yo, I want to be over Earth, please. Blah. Thank you. So we're still going speed four. Have we arrived yet? No, but we're about to. Army depletes deployment. Okay, so we have our first army actually attacking. Hopefully the bombarding doesn't do damage to us. I don't think it does. Army completes deployment. Ah, nice, 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 nice. Okay. There's no way to actually see how much damage we're doing here. No. I wonder what happens if we actually take control of the area before they do. Tokyo, Tokyo, Rabat. Yeah, we got four freaking armies here. So, as long as they only pop out with one or two, we're definitely fine here. Uh, Rabat, yeah, yeah, yeah. Enemy so we probably... Okay, so we captured the Luna base, controlled by the servants. That is freaking creepy, man. Uh, our teams are going through servant records for intel and research we can use. The hab took some damage. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Good job, Kamali. I approve. I approve. So, it's kind of crap. But hey, we got some extra science here, so that's fine by me. Um, we only have two power, so we're going to need a lot more power. Is that a farm, man? Former solar array. Okay. So, throw a solar array here. Just gonna rebuild what was here. 
Former Space Science Lab. Former Space Science Lab. Space Science Lab. I'm just gonna rebuild whatever was here, I guess. And then we have the mining, which actually has given us quite a bit of fizzles. That was actually a really good thing to conquer. Um, I kind of want to farm here. Space science. You know what? Put a farm here instead. Yeah, money is kind of awkward. Oh, actually, we can put a hospital up here, can't we? Hospital? Space hospital. Which will make us an extra 60. We're going to need more power. Former marine platoon. Oh, you know what? Do I care about layered defense arrays? <laughs> kind of. Yeah, we're end up like replacing everything with stuff I actually don't. Mm, that's fine. And then this was the hospital. No, that was the layer array. So then we'll throw the hospital. Yeah, we're basically just replacing everything, which I don't really want to do, but... Alright, I should have enough power for that, I think. Ooh, uh, robot. Good. Good, good, good. So we should be wrecking you right now. We have six armies there. Critical success. Love it, dude. Freaking love it. Army completes deployment in Tokyo. Good. Um, how's that going? Maybe even quicker than the other one. I don't remember. I'm taking a little bit of damage, I see. Oh, we're actually being invaded. Ha! Nice. Um, let's get all of our armies together, and we're just going to launch back. It actually makes sense. I didn't realize that we were adjacent, so, you know. Wait, why are you going over there? We probably want to leave, like, at least one other army nearby. Um, so they're bringing a couple more armies. They're actually equal level as me. Um, might as well launch out because the more damage... Because uh, we have the resistance there. So all we're trying to do is just slow them down. And are we worried about being attacked from anywhere else? Shouldn't. Shouldn't be. So is this from Pakistan? Yeah, so we could actually just go move in and take over Pakistan. Once we get rid of these guys. They actually have a decent sized army here. That might be a little annoying. I might need to... I'll probably need to send support. We're actually about to take over this region here. Okay. I'm hoping when we take over the region, we just destroy the aliens. Essentially. I don't know what he's doing here. But I'm a little scared. Uh, they actually popped out with three armies. Dang it. Still, our armies are doing quite okay against them. And bombarding has actually been done for a while. So, yeah, it looks like we just did, like, uh, some damage to them. So why can't we assault again? Combat units cannot reach. Counselor's not human, not an enemy asset. No combat units to conduct mission. Um. You're already around, around Luna. Do we need to rip? Uh. So he can assault Hab. So then I guess I let you just do it manually then. And Kamali come home? Huh. Is she on a cooldown timer or what the heck are these? I have no idea. All right, well, I guess we'll just bring you back home. That's fine. Because we need to get some... Uh, some uprisings, please. Tommy. More landings, so now mostly okay. I don't know if surveilling is going to actually do anything. We can't, like, assassinate, can we? No, that's just... Who is this? They're actually a bunch of servant people. Weird. 
Why do we know where all the servants are now all of a sudden? Well, I'm not going to complain because I should be able to go kill quite a few of them really easily. I mean, we're technically at war with the servants right now, I think, correct? So let's just wipe them off the map. Ah, wrong button. I hate when you click the wrong thing and then, yeah, it does this crap. Rel relations, war, yeah. So we're currently at war, which I think we're at war with them before. Let's just make sure we're not spotted. Uh, yeah, but I'm not super worried about it. Uh, not super worried about it right now. Reporting in. You probably should go underground. Hunkering down. Because I would rather you not die. Uh, and then Kexen. Can you do a coup? Because it's based on command. Nah, she doesn't have much command. Okay, you keep doing what you're doing. I need to get true power, man. Alright, so. Our battles so far are going okay. Just nuke Lending China, man. Expertise. Ironically, that would actually going not be a bad idea. Laying low in Paris, good. We are about to finish off. I hope that's all three armies, man. Uh, we captured the Protectorate base. Nice. 34, 40, 18%. They're trying to move to the Algiers region. Which is Algiers region? Algiers. Ah, it's servants. They can actually move through it. Oh, no. So, we kind of... That's actually only one army. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I gotta remember, I still have bombarding. Uh, hey, buddies. I need you to bombard, please. Not Kabul. Can you bombard armies? Yes, you can. So I need to flip Algiers. Which would have been really nice to do. When are you going to actually get out of here? November 20th. I don't actually care about the province. I care about the aliens. Can they take me? So they have three. It would be six. It would be seven v six. But we already have a pretty massive advantage. Once these guys pop out though, that's going to be a problem. I can't really do anything about it, though, until we um, get our people back. And we got to flip Algiers, which I don't even know if we can. They actually have four there now. Regime changed in Japan. Oh, nice. That was us. Good. So the alien assets are still there. Interesting. Yeah, not sure about that. Not sure about that. So that doesn't stop the aliens. They have four here. Oh, because one got away. Gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. They're actually conquering it. Oh, so they're just going and conquering it then. Good. We killed one of their armies. Recovered alien war dog. The body of the creature we have in the absence of words to better reflect this beast frightening appearance named a war dog. has been set for further study. Pre-autopsy assessment has confirmed it to be non-sapient. The brain is small, encased in an unusually thick skull, as well as the canines for which it's named. Its appendages would simply not be capable of operating tools or weapons. War dog corpse does display some visible com commonalities with what we observe in the primary aliens, suggesting that they may originate from the same world. But this creature bears the hallmark of a subservient race quite clearly a natural born killer perhaps even an apex predator but trained to obey an attack well that's scary that is definitely a little scary okay so flipping algiers doesn't matter brian keep that in mind um i don't know why you can't attack wait yeah you can seven percent see how much damage that does but war dog against megafauna that doesn't really help me Ah, there we go. Alien army analysis. That is what we need 100%. Um, 100%. How expensive was that, by the way? I 
category. Uh, alien army analysis. 10,000. I need it now. 16th of January. How much of a lead do we have right now? A ton of a lead. January, December, January. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I need that. I need it. I need it. I need it. Because we are currently just straight fighting. So, army completes deployment. Good. So, both of you guys then are going to mass move here. We're definitely having some issues over There's here, but chance. I think we're going to be okay. We failed. It's only at 34%. Interesting. They went underground or something. Um, they are now uh, attacking in the Tokyo region. Okay. But we did a decent amount of damage. And we have our five armies there right now. Yeah, I think we're okay. I think we got that army. How is it looking over here? We ended up taking them out. Okay, so we're fine here now. And we're gonna end up grabbing Algiers here before too long, which I don't really care about taking Algiers, but that's okay. We might want to just run away and get our HP back and then come hit these guys. Uh, actually, if they just wanna come here and suicide themselves, that would also be acceptable. Yep, there we go, we killed another army. Thank you. Actually, buddy, I appreciate that. Feet on the floor. Deorbit mission complete. They should be bombarding the guys next to us, although they don't seem to be too great at bombarding, which admittedly, I don't really have that much um, that bombards. So, yeah, probably makes a little bit of sense. So, all right, Kamali is back on the ground. So we're back to being able to do some good stuff with Kamali. Yeah. All right, we got Morocco. Don't really care, but nice. 10, 24, and 4. Uh, money is interesting. How long? Where? Uh, 82nd Army Group. Okay. 82nd Army Group. 434 days. That's not the worst thing in the world. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. And then we need the mining, please. We need solar. One, was it three? Two. I know we need two. I think it's four. Oh, we don't want the solar arrays here, Brian. Yeah, no, no, no. Cancel, 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 cancel. Uh, we need the fission reactor array, please. Then we want the farm. That's one, two, and then layer defense. Yeah, and so, yeah, okay, I see. We were doing four because we were doubling up our layer defense. I'm just gonna leave it with one for now. It's some crap asteroid that's not even that strong, so I'm not super worried about it. Uh Oh, shoot, 82nd, 82nd army. I think it might've been all these guys. 80 Tokyo region, but failed to destroy it. Well, yeah, not surprised. Okay, our Chinese army seems to be doing quite well. We're gonna move all three there. Uh, we are attacking the aliens and we are winning, so that's good. 82nd army group was this one. Okay, 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 now we know who moved where. Uh, so we now have this region. We should be gaining our HP back. We're kind of stuck there right now, it looks like. And I don't know what's happening here. The servants and the aliens and everything. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Some of these guys I can't move, but some I can. I can move the Canada army and the US Army, but not the European Union armies. Is it because I just took over the EU? Or took it over for the EU? I don't know. And we're almost back up to full HP, so not really that worried. Confirm assignments. 
Can I send you guys? I don't think I can send you here because... We don't actually control it. Yeah. Anchorage. And once again, the EU ones, I can't move. Huh. Why? That's a little weird. Oh, we're blockaded? Wait, how the hell did we get blockaded? What? Yeah, wait, how is the EU blockaded? Number of navies it has attached to armies multiplied by the nation's military score. How am I blockaded? They're 44.9 now. Because they got a bunch more armies. That's why. Oh, no. Ew. Okay, so this is kind of awkward then. I didn't even think about that. So are we blockaded? So I can't actually move any of those guys back then. Hmm. This is awkward. And this is definitely a little awkward now. But the U.S. and Canada aren't blockaded. Which is weird to me. Number of navies. Oh, you know, maybe it's because they're... No, you're invasion age, but you're still only 4.6. Number of navies... Attached to armies multiplied by the nation's military score. I wonder if it's because it's like they only have three armies and what two of the armies have or one of the army has a military or a navy attached and then Canada's one and one where I have a bunch of uh, armies that don't have a navy attached. I bet you it probably is that. So I need you to actually take over. Algeria so I can go kill these guys or something. I don't know man. I don't know. All right Well, we got to wrap this episode up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. if you did drop a like comment Let me know what you think as always hit the subscribe button join the game comment show your support um, Yeah, this is awkward. This is definitely awkward. I wonder if we just go like straight into Navy It's gonna take a while if I direct investment into a Navy We need 50 54 actually that would be 50k that would be all my money not that much um influence ironically enough <laughs> uh, all right well we'll figure this out later till then bye everyone